welcome ladies and gentlemen to the third edition of Underground Pro and we kick things off here tonight with Travis's conditions for a rematch with Ryu Ace. And Travis holds all the power here tonight and Ryu Ace, if he wants a rematch, if he wants to be able to get revenge, he's just gonna have to accept whatever these conditions are. Well, if Travis is out here, not too far behind his right hand man, Alex, and together they make the hit score. And Travis and Alex have been terrorizing Underground in the past few episodes. The first episode they broke Ryu Ace's frickin' nose, and the second episode, well, you saw what happened with Razor if you didn't go check it out. But, I mean, Travis and Alex have just been taking this place over. It's been a hostile takeover, and quite frankly, no one's been able to really stop them. But if Ryu Ace wants to be that guy, the one who finally stops them, the knight in shining white armor, he's going to have to go through hell, I'm assuming. But, I mean, we still have to find out what the conditions are. But if I was a betting man, I would assume that they aren't going to be very pleasant for Ryu Ace. Hit squad in the ring, both men, as they await the arrival of Ryu Ace. These fans, they do not like the hit squad. Oh, look at this. Travis telling Alex to go out of the ring. He's handling this on his own. And look at that. Here comes Ryu Ace. The fans love to see Ryu Ace. I'm going to shut up so we can hear whatever they have to say. Oh, no, no, you don't get to talk. You just listen. The only time you get to open your trap is when you agree to my conditions. There mean no interruptions. You either hear me all the way through or you can go back to being irrelevant. You were irrelevant, right? You ways until I made you relevant. I broke your nose and all of a sudden you get a brand new t-shirt with your broken nose plaster all over it which I didn't even get reimbursed for. No, Ryu you Ace, I don't want your money, I don't want your stupid followers, and I sure as hell don't want your t-shirt. All I want from you, Ryu you Ace, is something I've already taken so far. You know what that is, Ryu? Not time off, no, not wins, no, not credibility. I want your blood splatter all over the mat EMT having to rush you out of the building with these stupid idiots in attendance having to look upon your beat up self you want revenge ace you gotta do three things first you need to be Alex in the steel cage next episode where only he can escape the win where you have to win by pinfall or submission number two is you gotta beat another opponent of my choosing that will be revealed if you somehow beat Alex in third if you make it that far, Ryu, you got to take a Singapore Caney for two minutes straight. If you agree to my condition, make it all the way through the gauntlet, and then, and then only, you can have a one-on-one, -on -one, no DQ match with the match god himself, Travis, where his squad is bad for ringside. So, Ryu, do you accept? I accept. Well, you heard it there, folks. The fans are cheering. Ryu Ace has accepted the conditions. And that means next episode, it will be Ryu Ace versus Alex in a steel cage match where only Alex can escape to win. Wait a minute. Oh, come on. We should have known something was up. And oh, no. No. Oh. Alex just dropped Ryu Ace on his back. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere.
my neck is still sore after that. Thanks, Rhaegar. But anyway, speaking of Rhaegar, here comes a man who called out Rhaegar last week and is making his debut here tonight. He calls himself the Monarch. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jaden Omega. And you know, these fans don't seem to be a very big fan of the Monarch. It could either be his cockiness, his arrogance, the way that he presents himself, or maybe it's just because he's opposing Rhaegar. I'm not really sure, but one thing that I am sure of is when this guy comes out, no matter if it's cheers, booze, half and half, he always gets a reaction. And as you can see, slowly making his way to the ring, Jaden Omega claims that when he enters a company, when he steps into those ropes, when that, ring, that bell rings, he demolishes everyone and everything and leaves. Well... He's got a chance to do that here tonight against his opponent, Kang Katsuyori, also making his underground debut, who you might have remembered from the Payday Royale at Rags to Riches. And these fans are not very fond of Jaden Omega. I do not know why. I mean, everything he says he's going to do, for the most part, he backs it up. And he's had history with some of the guys here in underground. He's faced Travis before, but this is a very different Jaden Omega as he awaits his opponent, King Katsuyori. And the fans are cheering for the rock and roller from the land of the rising sun. And King Katsuyori, he looks pumped up. He is so excited to be here. He, he says that he wants to start off with a clean slate, a fresh start. He wants to have Rags to Riches Payday Royale in the rear view mirror. He doesn't want to think about that. He wants to start now. Listen, it might be late August, but maybe it's not too early for some New Year's resolutions. Maybe this guy can get started in underground and he can do well. I mean, it's a big spot taking on Jaden Omega. Ken Katsuyori's going to have to use every fiber of his being, however, to defeat Jaden Omega. But if anybody can do it, I do believe it is this guy. You can just see him, just, he's so happy to be here. And the match starts, and oh look at that, right out the bat, with a super kick. Very smart, stay on the offensive. Look at this, into a bull, no, into the soup. Wait a minute, oh, with the lariat. Let's take another look at that lariat. What a reversal from Jaden Omega. No, wait a minute. I thought I noticed something with that German and Lariat, but I'm definitely connecting the dots now. Who does this remind you of, huh? Jaden Omega is sending a message. Oh, here tonight to Rhaegar, and look at this. And just like that, Jaden Omega has taken away any chance One, of King Katsuyori two, surviving three. in this match, and Jaden Omega wins. Wait, oh, Rhaegar, he did not take too kindly to Jaden Omega stealing the move set. And look at how pissed he is. And, oh my god. As if Rhaegar didn't have enough problems as is. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen, but just like that, we gotta go to commercial break. We will be right back. Hey, Underground Pro Wrestling. I have some words for you. I'm not here for fighting with lucky bitches like Shibata Yuji. Fuck Shibata Yuji. I'm here for winning the biggest matches of the shows. I'm here to show you who is the best in the world. I am the best, and I will be the best every time. The Fox from Poland is dead. This guy's in for a ride.
And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, and this local talent, he is shook just by the entrance alone. And what's into, uh, Ant Antonio Reed is, he's dancing with him now. Oh, no, he's got him on the shoulders. And a GTS, go to sleep. That was quick. That was quicker than Jaden Omega versus Ken Katsuyori. And just like that. And Antonio Reed has won in convincing fashion. And wait a minute, I think we have a situation going on at the bear ca Wait. Someone has just jumped the barricade. Two men have just jumped the barricade. Security's nowhere to be found. And these two men are surrounding Antonio Reed. Uh, and oh no, what, what, what's happening? And oh no, wait a minute, Antonio Reed is just now realizing, but it's too late. We'll be right back. As you saw there, ladies and gentlemen, we will have some more news coming in the following episodes regarding our first pay-per-view event, but it is time for the main event of the evening as Dragon Day Fuego makes his debut here in the underground, and he is facing the returning Kendrick Alexander, and this match is going to tear the place down. And at only the age of 20, as you've seen in the past few weeks, he's been tearing through Mexico, making a name for himself. And this is the second match involving one of the members of the Freak Show as we start with some chain wrestling. He's got the headlock tightly secured and now he has the arm, the elbow more like, wrenching on it. And Kendrick Alexander now, he's in full control. Oh, look at this, Dragon de Fuego able to reverse it. He's got the arm behind the back. Oh, and the punch to the back. A little bit of the neck got caught there, and look at this. He's got a Fujima. Is Dragon Day Fuego going to tap? No, he gets out of it. These fans are loving it. And Dragon Day Fuego is so excited to be here. And oh, look at that. You can't take liberties in a match with someone the caliber of Kendrick Alexander. And oh, the kick to the sternum. And Dragon Day Fuego getting up to his feet, using the ropes. And oh, what a forearm. I'm putting him in between the ropes now. And oh, look at that. What a maneuver. And Kendrick Alexander now showboating on the outside, but Dragon's back to his feet. Wait a minute. We've seen this before. Oh, he flies. Let's take another look at that. 
He flew. And now he's got Kendrick locked in that arm bar. Is Kendrick going to tap? Dragon de Fuego really able to turn this match around. You know, look at this. Kendrick reversing and with the punches now. Kendrick, oh, with a kick to the gut and a roll through. Is he gonna, no, look at this, into a submission maneuver. And he's wrenching at that neck. Part of the mask, I think, started to tear and look at the knees. Dragon de Fuego able to escape. And oh, Meteora. Kendrick Alexander rolling to the outside. And oh, what's Dragon thinking? He's on the top rope, look at that. An arm drag. Let's take another look at that. That was awesome. Now Dragon with the Irish Whip. Oh, look at that. Into a Hurricane Rana. Oh, look at that. Into the ropes. I think I know what's coming next. Oh, 619. Look at this. Springboard. Frog Splash has his finishing maneuver, but he could not connect. And look at this. Kendrick rolling through. And oh, with the knee. We've seen that before. He has won matches with that. One, One two. two, no, Dragon kicks out. Kendrick can't believe it. Kendrick now going to the top rope. What's he thinking here? And oh, look at this, Dragon kips up. And oh, Spanish fly, Spanish fly. And oh, look at this, he gets caught with the code breaker. And Kendrick picking him up now. What's he thinking? Oh, the punch to the head. And oh, look at this. Oh, what a back suplex. One, One two, two, ball three. game. It's over. What a match. What a match. It was short, but it was very intense. Kendrick Alexander with a big win in his return to the underground. He's got to feel good about this one. Hard fought victory. And Kendrick, he really fought for the, w wait a minute. These guys are coming back. Wait a minute. They already attacked Antonio Reed and now they're going. And uh oh, don't turn around. You don't need to. Antonio Reed on the offensive, getting his revenge. And look at that, Dylan Valentine with the punch. The freak show. They are retaliating here. And look at this, Dylan Valentine with the Singapore cane over and over. The freak show for the first time in underground history are all together, a united, strong front.